Hello and welcome to another LEGO review. Today we're taking a look at this set, a Speed Champion set, number 76898, Formula E Panasonic Jaguar Racing Gen 2 car and Jaguar I-Pace E Trophy. Because <laughs> E small. Uh, anyway, so these, this, so this is my first box of eight studs wide. Uh, Speed Champions, for those of you who don't know, Speed Champions were like previous LEGO cars in general, they're sort of six studs wide. And now these ones are eight studs wide. And I like these cars because that means you can finally have two seaters. Well, I mean, that one's like a formula car, so that's still one seat, but this one's a two seat, hooray! And there's another box I kind of want with a, uh, like a black car on it that's similar. Oh, what was that car? I don't know that car. I'll stick an image in here. The black car, another one. So that's probably the other one I will pick up. Uh, I hope this doesn't just stay with Speed Champions. I hope this like you know extends into other Lego sets as well, which um, will be a little bit harder to get on like the Lego boats and stuff. But maybe we can have some new Lego boats as well. Uh, I just like these wider cars. They make more sense to me. So yeah, uh, <laughs> bit of a thick box. Yeah, pretty cool. It shows you the one-to-one -one size of the wheel there instead of the minifigures because you know this is a car set so the focus is out but um you know i'm still glad that uh, we do get minifigures here the front of the box actually doesn't show you everything yet because you also get this starting line thing here that you see on the back of the box and it shows you a few of the features that you got there comes with two booklets and each book does go through each car so um yeah this one shows you build the second car there's um i think all the parts guide is on the first book yep there's of course the advertisements for the other. There's advertisement for the Lego Life app there. Uh, sure, and a mini poster booklet thing. And uh, there's a sticker sheet in here and some spare pieces, but I've already applied the stickers, so um, I can't film that for this. First car we have here, this Jaguar car. It's, um, both cars obviously have this very nice light blue color. Isn't your typical light blue? So I don't know, it just looks really nice, very comfortable, very relaxing color, which is why this is like another set I like from this round of Speed Champions. I'm not a car person, but you know, I know when I see something that looks awesome. So yeah, this is one of them. And uh, this one's a bit of a bulky car. It looks sleek on the front, but on the back, it's quite chunky. So yes. And because uh, these cars are designed to look the part and you know more so than play there's no weird play features or anything and they don't even feature any opening doors if you want to get to the minifigure you just take this piece apart and as you can see two seats you know got the steering wheel there and of course a little gear stick or whatever and yeah not much to see then because all the, everything on the back there that's that's nothing like this there's nothing there which um you know since this is a racing car it would make sense uh to not have anything there but this this it's all bricks there it's all filled in it isn't empty which doesn't quite make sense for racing car because you do want this to be you know not that heavy i, I do understand a little bit of racing cars um you know you you want enough weight on the back to keep the car low to the ground so that then you can go faster which is what these are for but uh, you don't want too much stuff in there because the heavier the slower you're going to be as well but so it's like a balance thing anyway you can move this a little bit but uh, you're not really supposed it's not a feature it's just how it's been put together so you just you move it in so it doesn't fall off and stuff so and um, speaking of the stuff that's built in on the back this is quite a heavy car it doesn't look it but when you pick it up you can definitely feel the weight to it you know compared to other lego cars i mean it's not like heavy like oh my god i can't carry it it is still a lego toy after all but uh you can definitely feel it almost like you're picking up a small book it's yeah it's you know a lot more weighty than uh, other like just lego cars in general so quick on the other side uh quick on the front Oop. A quick look on the front there so yes sticker adds the details to the uh, grill on the back you got trophy there and i do like how they've done this pattern how they've applied that the uh, sticker details also relatively nice mm, i don't like this like thin blue gap there i almost feel like i want to just get a black marker pen and just draw across it just to fill it in but uh, we'll see we'll see i almost feel like some of these pieces could have been spray painted instead of stickers Mm. But then that wouldn't the Lego, wouldn't it? By the way, <laughs> that's how some people feel. Anyway, my uh, I'm not a. I mean, I like this car, but you know, I mostly bought the B because of this one. If if these two cars were separated in two smaller sets, this is the only one I would pick up. I wouldn't pick up the other one. 
Um, I've always sort of wanted like a Lego Formula One car. It reminds me of like the really old Formula One cars that Lego produced in just like a single minifigure scale from like 90s, 80s. So that that's that's my thing, and I do still have them somewhere in one of my Lego boxes. So that that's cool. So Formula. Uh, I know it's not Formula 1, but you know, it looks like a Formula 1, so that's that's why I like it. So, bottom there, uh, sticker detail down there, sticker details on the sides, and uh, lots of sticker details on the sides, more details there. I like the way the back's done, and that just came off. Uh, yeah, I do remember the front of this isn't the most sturdy thing, just like a Formula car. <laughs> They're not the most sturdy thing, they're actually quite fragile because of the speed they go in, but um, also because you know they can't be too heavy so it is more fragile compared to other cars these pieces on the front there that are kind of easy to fall off so not too big of a fan of these but for the most part if you just put these on display it's fine obviously no two seater here just the one in the middle it's a formula car after all you move this up just for easy access just slightly and uh, i almost feel like they should have had like a piece in there that's only two studs just so the minifigure won't get stuck in there Oh well, but otherwise this car is very sleek. I like the shape. I like all the extra details that they put in here. It's it's very nice. I like this Formula car a lot. And finally we have this piece here, which is sort of the play feature or gimmick in this set, which is the starting line. So sticker, sticker. Uh, there's no printed stuff in here pretty much. There's all stickers if you see, you know, texture. And uh, quick look on the side, you got the blitz of red and white detailing, and on the other side is pretty ugly. And that fell out, that's not supposed to fall out like that, that easily. So yeah, pretty much you just pull this across and then do do do, and that sometimes gets stuck. Come on, come down, there we go. Let's do that again. There we go, there we go, that, that did it. So yeah, pretty cool set pieces. We've got two minifigures here, one guy, one girl. So they just have these standard helmets with no printing on them. I'm fine with that. And, you know, I'm going to give the guy the long hair and I'm going to give the girl the short hair. Hey, hey. And also a wrench for repairing the car after they've crashed, of course. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, not too bad. <laughs> Come on. Come off. There we go. So, yeah, I, I uh, this white sort of uh, sports like racing suit looks pretty nice. I do like it. Quick look on the back, it's pretty good. And I uh, would have preferred it with this uniform without the logos, but hey, that's just me. I understand why the, you know, the logos are there, so uh, I can't really use these out of context and stuff, but I do love these colors on this figure as well. Uh, I guess the other time I've seen this would be uh, one of the Incredibles uh, minifigures from the Disney line, the, the Ice Guy. He has similar colors on this minifigure as well. But still, overall, this is a pretty unique color and it looks pretty good. So overall, pretty nice set. The builds are overall very sturdy, aside from those two front pieces on the Formula car there. The rest of it's bulky, it fits well together. This PC might also be a little bit loose, but hey, it is the front piece. You are supposed to take it off to put a driver in there, so I'm also fine with that. There's no, there isn't really any problems with the way these cars are built at all. There's also not really any problems with how this is built. That's quite sturdy as well, although it is quite annoying how this one tends to get stuck sometimes. Mm. The overall looks of the car, the designs are pretty good here. There's also smart builds around the corners and the front and the back, as well as that one, especially that one, to give it its unique shake and design and patterns. Even if you don't apply any stickers, there's still a lot of detail to marvel at at these cars. I mean, yes, the sticker has some black lines and stuff, but black lines there anyway, it's built in, so it's the bottom one as well. Uh, you're not gonna get any white details, but still that's fine. Overall, the coloring might seem a little bit more bland, but uh, it's still a nice looking car build. And the Formula One, one, that one without the stickers also looks pretty good and it's a lot more different colored like there's a lot more contrast between the black and the blue on that one so it looks even better. If you're a car fan, um, I don't know if you like these or not, I don't know how accurate these are to the like the actual car in real life. However, being a wider car, a bigger car, LEGO has been able to jam a lot more details in these than if they were a six stud wide car. Uh, these cars are also 
because it's wider it's also long as well the overall scale is actually bigger so they can add a lot more detail into these cars if you're not a car fan and you just want something to go into i don't know lego city or something these will be a little bit of pain to fit into your like you know city builds and city streets and stuff but if you've bought any like superhero vehicles for example batmobiles some of them are quite chunky and big as well so you know if you're okay with those then these will fit in as well now this isn't really the set that's you you know sort of like road cars street cars um this one maybe but definitely not that one so if you want some eight stud wide cars that could fit into your lego city this one's probably not the set some of the other ones definitely have cars that you know look more regular on uh, you know city streets so overall i like the color like the build i like the bigger size of these cars and i hope lego you know does more eight stud wide cars in the future Subscribe to Justin Comment below the cost. Take care and have a nice day. And just for funsies, I did record an ASMR video of me building this. And it's my first time doing a video like that. Please check it out if you like that kind of stuff. I personally do actually enjoy the sound of Lego being built and the sound of slow page turning. Don't know, it's quite comforting. It's it obviously triggers something in my brain uh, but whatever <laughs> i like that sound so i decided to make a video it's almost two hours long if you just want to listen to something uh, no no speaking it is purely the sounds it's a little bit of breathing sound if you turn the volume up so you keep the volume a bit down to keep it to just the brick building sounds but uh it's something i find quite comfortable actually listening to so hopefully you would too and hopefully it'll help someone sleep or help someone feel more relaxed and stuff. So check out the videos, almost two hours of building this. Um, filming a video like that makes the building a lot longer. I could have built this set within the hour instead, but by filming it, I had to slow down certain paces. I had to put my arms around the camera. I don't really have a setup great for something like that, but uh, yeah. But yes, uh, subscribe, suggest, and comment below. And the guys, take care and have a nice day. I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye now.